Hi guys, it's garbage day for Aldi. I'm in a race to get to the Aldi dumpster before the garbage truck gets there. And I've been trying to get out of the house for half an hour, but you know, stuff happens. Somebody needs something. I can't find the car keys. Somebody needs something else. I need to make more toast for myself. So I'm behind schedule. So now I'm just, ah, I gotta get there. Cops are guarding the road workers up ahead. So we must pause for a moment. I was going to try to be really, really prepared today to please you all. I was going to bring gloves. I was going to wear sneakers. I was going to, I think that was it. I was going to make sure I had a grabber that worked, except I don't think we actually have a grabber that works too well right now. We broke our grabber. The new one I was trying yesterday only worked with really lightweight stuff, which was a shame. I do have the step stool in the back. I don't really like to use the tools though, because I need to be able to make a quick getaway should I need to make a quick getaway. I don't want to be folding up step stools. It's one thing when Frugal Daddy and I are together, but when one is alone, there's a different feel to the dumpster diving. Anyway, it's kind of a gray, cloudy day out there. It's only 81 degrees, so no need for the frozen fish ice pack for the phone today, I'm thinking. I'm gonna pause you all now because I need to drive like Frugal Mommy, Queen of the Highway, so I can get there before that garbage truck does, so. Pause. Okay, here we are at the Aldi dumpster, and we've obviously beaten the garbage truck again. Hooray, triumph. What do we have? What can we get quickly? It's a snatch and grab. Here we go. If this is all I get, we're happy it's a triumph. Okay? Okay, don't judge. Why would there be a completely empty oat container? Usually the garbage bags are a pretty good bet because they don't have that much regular trash in their store. So, out of the black garbage bag, onions. A juice, that's a return. I'm not too wild about that. It's too hot for that. Cans of soda, yes. make some homemade applesauce if I could get it out. Those are some big plums. There's obviously a mushy one in there somewhere, but I'll wash off the others. Bananas as always. this into the car at least. Look, okay, look how good those bananas are. My freezers. More apples down there, more bananas, more plums. Move a few boxes around. What is this? We're home. Everything is washed and dried off and laid out for your perusal. So let's take a look. We've got nine pounds of apples. I'm going to save the best of them to slice up and eat just, you know, regular apples to eat for the kids. And then the more bruised ones, I'm about to turn into applesauce. So stay tuned for that treat. I was able to salvage three plums. These are really, really, really soft and ripe. So what I'm going to do is cut them up into little chunks and freeze them and then put the chunks into baggies and save those for smoothies. And speaking of freezing things for smoothies, of course, we've got the bananas. And we have beverages. We have the one bottle of black tea. We have six lime sparkling waters. The bottom's all pooched out on a few of them. And, and one grapefruit sparkling water. I'm kind of excited to drink this grapefruit one because 
when I was growing up, my dad always drank Fresca in the summer. I don't even think they make it anymore, but that was a grapefruit-flavored soda. So seeing this just reminds me of my dad. Are you ready for the magic of applesauce? I think you are. What could be more wholesome, more heartwarming, more, more the substance of family life than applesauce? So versatile. You can eat it by itself. You can have it with pork chops. You can have it with potato pancakes. You can make it into a cake. Actually, speaking of that, I was, I was, um, I was thinking of applesauce cake when I said that, but if you're interested in fat-free baking, applesauce is the substitute for oil if you are baking cakes. I used to be very into fat-free and reduced fat baking. I should get back into that, I think. Anyway, applesauce. What did they used to say? Baseball, hot dogs, applesauce, and Chevrolet. They go together in the good old USA. I know it was apple pie. It was an advertisement. I changed it to applesauce because we're going to make applesauce. I dread showing you my lack of knife skills. But here we go. There we go. There are our cut up apples. I don't take the skins off. I just puree them in once they're cooked with the immersion blender. I'm going to pour on a little bit of orange juice for liquid at the bottom so that they don't burn before they start to release their own apple -y juices. And I'll add a bunch of cinnamon. I'm going to pop it on the stove on a low heat and cover it. And once all the apples are soft, we'll puree it up. Alrighty, those apples cooked up pretty quickly, so we're ready for the Immersion Blender. Looks delicious! And of course it is. Applesauce is so easy to make. I don't think there's any excuse for buying applesauce unless you don't have any way to blend your cooked apples at home. You don't have to have an immersion blender. You can use a regular blender. I remember when I was a little child back in the olden days, back on the prairie, my mother had this, it was a thing with a handle and you turned it. It's hard to even explain what it was, but you probably already know. It's almost like it had like a really big blade that wasn't sharp, a big metal laid type plate thing that would swing around and kind of grind the apples. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, so we didn't have a blender back then and we were, we, we were still able to make applesauce. When you go to buy applesauce, look at the ingredients. Corn syrup. Apples are plenty sweet. This is very sweet. This is very sweet, delicious, and apple-y. There's no need to be adding corn syrup to this. And there's no need to add water. A lot of them have water added and they're very runny. Of course you can buy commercially made applesauce that doesn't have the corn syrup in it, but you have to read labels. Like I said, so much easier to make it yourself. Two of my girls are big applesauce fans. One, not so much. She likes her apples whole. So I'm about to slice an apple up for her with peanut butter, dumpster peanut butter for a snack. Anywho, as always, Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Feel free to click that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and comment below and hit that little bell thingy. You know the little bell? It's shaped like that. I'm shaping it with my spoon. The bell. So you'll get notifications when we upload new videos. And share on social media. That's the other thing. Share on social media. And 
follow us on Instagram at freaking frugal dumpster diving. All one word. Okay. Until we dive again. Bye.